what's up guys, this is Mario and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to fix a bad credit score and what steps you should take to fix your credit score as soon as possible. Look guys, we all go through rough times in our life and when things get tough financially, our credit scores do end up taking a hit. This can happen for many reasons. It could be because we lost our job, we got hurt at work and we're now we're not able to work anymore because of medical issues. Loss of income, regardless, can have many, many repercussions, and that could include, of course, affecting your credit score. So the question is, what can we do if our credit score has been already been damaged? Well, guys, in today's video, I'm going to cover what steps you should take if you already have a bad credit score that has been impacted by late payments, accounts and collections, and even maxed out lines of credit. Now, guys, all I ask you, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, let's get started. Federal law allows you to request a free credit report every single 12 months from each credit report agency. That means you can get a free credit report from Experian, a free credit report from TransUnion, and a free credit report from Equifax. Federal law also allows you to ensure that your credit report is correct and up to date. So if you see any discrepancies in your credit report from any of the agencies, make sure you file the dispute. Now, when you file the dispute, the credit agencies have to validate uh, your, the, the stuff they put in your credit report. So if, they're, if they cannot prove uh, that the stuff in your credit report is correct, they have to remove it by law from your credit report within 30 days. So absolutely take advantage of that, guys. All right, guys, so the question becomes, like, where can I get a free credit report from each credit agency? Good question, guys. You could actually get a free credit report from each credit agency on annualcreditreport.com. There you'll be able to get a free credit report from Equifax, free credit report from TransUnion, and a free credit report from Experian. Annual report will only give you all the information on your credit report that deals with like LA payments, collections, all the accounts, uh, credit lines of credit you have open, but they will not give you a credit score number. So to get a credit score number, I recommend you to go to creditkarma.com and then there they will show you a credit score number to see what number you're at. The only difference between Credit Karma and Annual Credit Report is that Annual Credit Report will give you a free credit report from all three agencies versus Credit Karma will only give it from one and they will charge it for the other. So my recommendation is, hey, get all your, your credit reports from, from Annual Credit Report first and then go to Credit Karma to kind of see a, a score of what your credit score is, okay guys? All right guys, late payments. Now, as we all know, 35% of a credit score is based on payment history. Um, when you don't pay your, your bills, your, your debt, for 30 days or more, it will report on your credit report. Avoid even having a late payment re-reported on your credit report. So if you are a couple days late on your, on your debt, hey, make that payment as soon as possible because you have 30 days before they report it on your, on your credit report. And also, a late payment stays in your credit report for seven years. And that's a huge component of your credit score. So if you already have late payments, um, make sure that, of course, you look at it to see if they're 30 days late, 60 days late, or 90 days late. Avoid having your late payment or your debt go on collections. Late payments and accounts and, and accounts and collections stay in your credit report for seven years. So avoid at all costs to, for, your, for your debt to go on collections and make sure you pay that late payment as soon as possible. Now, if you're having trouble paying uh, payments because of financial issues, call up the credit card or the car loan, whoever let you borrow the money, the bank, etc., and try to develop a payment plan to get back on, on, on having current payments. And, and something that's more flexible, that, that is uh, based on your current income and your situation, and let them know, hey, I'm having trouble making these payments, please help me out, let's, make, let's set up a payment plan that is feasible for me that I could afford to make these payments. Very, very important before you make a late payment, or even once you have a late payment, to call them up and try to figure out a new payment plan that works better for you. So, if you already have a late payment on your credit report, make sure you pay that payment but call your your financial company whoever let you borrow the money and and ask politely hey you know i want to make this payment but can you please remove that late payment on my credit report now as a reminder guys financial companies don't do not have to remove these late payments from your credit report it's a courtesy they don't have to it's not an obligation but if you're very very nice with them you're polite and ask them hey you know can you please help me out uh, here i'm gonna make my payments 
please remove this late payment on my credit report. I don't want it to affect my credit. And some of them will be very nice to do that for you, okay guys? But very, very important, be very, very nice and polite because again, uh, this is a courtesy they're doing for you. They're, they don't have to do it. And make sure you pay that and also follow up on that after 30 days to, to see if it's actually been updated on your credit report. Okay guys, so let's talk about collections. Now, collections can happen in many, many ways. You know, you can have medical bills and collections. You can have utility bills and collections. You can even have unpaid parking tickets and collections, guys. So you'd be surprised, you know, of what you will see in your credit report. That's the reason why it's so important to look at your credit report to see what's really affecting you. Because, hey, maybe that unpaid parking ticket that you, you forgot to pay five years ago somehow is affecting your credit score and you had no idea, guys. So an account goes into collections when you haven't made a payment at all. Uh, usually 180 days, but it depends on the depth. If it's a car loan, that may happen actually within 60 days. Your actual car could get repossessed within 60 days. Uh, but as a credit card, it may take up, up to 180 days before your your uh, your debt goes to collections. But it all but it really depends on the type of debt. So make sure you you understand that, okay? But once your account's in collections, that means you haven't made your payment for for a very long time. It could be 60 days, it could be 90 days, it could be 180 days. The goal, of course, is to um, make sure none of your debt goes into collections. But if it's already there, hey, there are things you could do. Number one, uh, if, you're, uh, if your debt goes into collections, try to negotiate the debt. You know, try to negotiate something with the collection agencies so you could pay less in your debt. So pretty much what happens is when you don't pay your debt for a very long time, credit card companies will end up selling your debt for pennies and dollars for these uh, third-party collection agencies. And these collection agencies are the people who actually start calling you every single day, knocking on your door, hey, you gotta make this payment. So what you could do is try to negotiate with them uh, to lower your, your debt. Once you've actually made a payment or you paid off your, your collections, and you also try to negotiate, hey, can you please remove these collections from my credit report? Now, as a reminder, guys, these companies are not obligated to remove collections on your credit report. It's all based on courtesy. So very, very, very important to make, um, to be very, very polite with them, and be very nice, because again, they're not obligated to do this, but as part of the negotiation procedures, try to um, have them also remove uh, your, your, your collections on your credit report. The other thing is very, very important. If you have all collections, you know, things that happened more than seven years ago, this should be removed from your credit report. So if you have all late payments, all constant collections that are actually older than seven years, they have to be removed because late payments only stay in your account for seven years and your credit report for seven years and accounts and collections should only be staying in your credit report for seven years. Make sure you get in contact with that credit agency and have them removed because they're not supposed to be there after seven years. All right, guys. Okay, so now let's talk about maxed out lines of credit. So there could be a lot of reasons why you have a, a, a car maxed out. I mean, it could be financial issues, medical issues, you're not able to work, or, or of course it could also be, you know, we're not understanding how to, you know, keep a budget. So there's a lot of things that could cost for you to max out your, your, your lines of credit. But the simple solution to fix that, of course, is to pay down uh, your, 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 uh, your debt. If you have a savings account where you have money saved up that is making less than 1%, and your credit cards are charging you like 10%, 20%, again, it makes no sense, guys. Use that money on your savings and pay off your debt because not only will you increase your credit score uh, and, and get it, make it better, but you'll also save a lot of money in interest, okay? To help out with maxed out credit lines, the other thing you could do, actually, well, if you don't have the money to pay off some of that debt, you know, of, of maxed out credit cards, um, next thing you could do is apply for new lines of credit. So apply for new lines of credit will increase your credit uh, limit. So for example, if you have a, a $5,000 credit card and it's pretty much maxed out, uh, so you have like, for example, let's say $4,000 in debt in that $5,000 credit line, see if you could apply and qualify for another credit card that might actually give you another five grand. So you, now you have one credit card with a $5,000 credit limit and then now you have another second credit card with another $5,000 credit limit, so you have like a $10,000 credit availability but you only owe 4,000 in one of them. So if you think about it, that's a 40% credit utilization versus when you first only had one credit card with $5,000 credit limit and you had a, a, like a 90% credit utilization. So that's what it could help you with your, you know, your, your, your uh, credit utilization score. So that could help uh, with your bad credit score. There could be many reasons why your credit card is maxed out. Now, if it's for medical reasons, emergencies, 
is totally understandable. But if it's for other issues, like you have spending problems, which it does happen, guys. Hey, we all make mistakes. We're all young. We all like to overspend on things, traveling or, or, or buying gifts for family or friends or just going out. I mean, it happens. It's happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to you as well, and that's okay. But if you are having trouble uh, managing your, your, your expenses and you're, you're, you're constantly overspending every single month, I highly recommend you to make a budget sheet. I recommend you to use a budget sheet on Excel, MX, uh, Microsoft Excel, or use Google Sheets, uh, which is free. And build a budget sheet will, will show all your expenses, for example, like rent, a phone, car loan, insurance, food, and also shows all your income coming in, maybe from a job, maybe part-time job, maybe doing uh, additional uh, work on the side, side hustles, and then kind of calculate all the money that's coming in and all the money that's coming out and just kind of figure out where is my money going? You know, how come I'm overspending? You know, what is going on? And that could really, really help you kind of key in and what areas you need help with and what really is the issue that's costing you your overspending, guys. So every single month, you know, figure out, hey, where, where am I spending my money every single month? And where every single month my money is coming in and kind of really pinpoint where everything's going. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Again, a road to having a better credit score is gonna take a while, it takes time, guys. But once you make a big change on your credit report, make sure you follow up every single 30 days to kind of see if it's been updating. Again, you can get a free credit score, uh, credit report and credit score at Credit Karma to kind of see your score. Uh, and again, don't forget annualcreditreport.com. You can get a free credit report from each agency. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, make comments. If you have questions, please uh, ask those questions at the bottom at the YouTube comments. Uh, if you have any comments, make sure you do that. And if uh, you like this video, I do I'll make new videos every single Wednesday. So subscribe to my channel, guys. Take care, guys. Thank you very much.